Yeah. Um, and then 13 days later, my other son gets married, and his is a big, this is oh, a barn and some of All right, I am calling the Village of Cross Plains Board of Trustees meeting of April 12th, 2024. The order, roll call, please. What's your name? Did I? August. August. I'm just It's the August. Thank you. Wow. Trustee Britt. Here. Trustee Brenner. Here. Trustee Borkhart. Here. Trustee Borkland. Here. Trustee Pomakowski. Here. Trustee Catalator. Here. President Linkfeld. Here. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we're at public comment. This is an opportunity for anyone to address the village board on any issue. Please observe the time limit of three minutes. While the village board encourages input from residents and may not discuss or act on any issue that is duly noticed on the agenda. Is there anybody? Uh, nobody's raising their hand. No. All right. Move on then. Consent agenda. On request of any trustee, any item may be removed from the consent agenda for separate consideration under general business. Does anybody would like to remove anything? Hearing nothing, do you have a motion? I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Second. All right, I have a motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, say so move. Village President, I have nothing to report. Vice President? No. Other trustees? Doug and then Sarah? So it was the first year since 2003 there was no slight gravity in Cross I was pretty really happy about that. But Rick Roberts and Sherry Sarbacher organized a new concern with the Legion. They raised over 600 bucks for the Optimus. And then a young man named Kyle Pape. Organized a volleyball and beat bike tournament at Remington's and raised over fifteen hundred dollars for the CP Rec department. Oh, very cool! All around for the rooms. So, kids getting after it. Yeah, the next generation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this morning I toured Way Forward and I met. I worked with the, or met with Leslie Huber and she talked to me about what they're doing there and we had a lot of good conversation about affordable housing and things that we can be doing. The other piece, she's going to get me numbers on how many people in Cross Plains are accessing the services from way forward. Because we were talking about whether or not people in Cross Plains are aware that that's a resource they can use. And um, when we, once our new village administrator is hired, it would be important for the village administrator to connect with way forward so we can continue that partnership. All right. Uh, Cameron? I just want to say I uh, went to National Night Out. It was last week. Um, it was a blast. There were tons of kids there. They had fun. But it was, it's always good to see um, not only our police department, but all of the neighboring police department, the EMS and fire and everyone get together and just kind of connect with the community. So I just want to extend a big thank you for such a great event to Chief Tony and um, Officer Kimball for putting that together. All right. I think they served 450. I think they served 450 people. There was a lot of people there. It was, it was, it was a very beautiful well. night. And lights flew in. It was it was a good time. So thank thank you thank you thank you Chief Tony. Anybody else? Okay. okay. Just wanted, wanted to give a shout out to our uh, public works for doing a tremendous job on this during the cleanup. Not just public works, parks and rec, the staff here um, in the CP Fire Department. We had a couple of lines go down by their house. I happened to be awake when it happened, and the fire department was there within two and a half minutes of us losing power. So, pretty good, good shout out to the fire department, first responders, and village staff. All right. Oh, Michael. Yeah, uh, this is an update for the Sustainability Committee about a year ago. We put in for a grant from Focus on Energy. For a thousand dollars to get it, we had to enter three village properties into a energy star website 
watch a video, meet with a fellow, we'll focus on energy. All that got completed. And I believe today we got the payment for the thousand dollars for the grant that the sustainability committee okay. worked on. So I don't even think they know yet. So uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe in the budget we'll be able to spend it or use it the committee since we pursued it. That'd be sure. a great thing. But yeah, I have no ideas how we would use it yet. I think you should uh, do that. Obviously, it would be a recommendation, but right. no, I think absolutely. Absolutely. I would be in, in favor of that. All right. Uh, Bobby? Um, I don't have anything. Yeah. Uh, Jared, do you have anything? Uh, turn off the wind. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Other than that, no. All right, very good. We'll go to general business discussion and possible action regarding award of bid for 2024 street and maintenance proposals. Brian, Barry. Um, thanks for accommodating me. This is agenda item on a special meeting. Uh, the village put out for bids for resurfacing a number of streets. Uh, kind of the west here, uh, centered around their region. We did get a good number of bids, three, which is pretty good for us. You know, we kind of considered a specialty project, a gaming project like this. Uh, everything was pretty well in line with our estimates. Uh, we did include an alternate bid, which will be a time lane in the event that it became an inventory, we could have something to spend it on. Uh, they just came in. Pretty good and not good enough for your budget to cover the civil time. So uh we are recommending a ward to Kane and Bill on the low bidder for the base bid and supplemental bids for an amount of two hundred and ten thousand eighty eight dollars and twenty-five cents. That's the last number on that second to last paragraph on the screen. Uh the supplemental items just for reference are how we handle unknown quantity that time is bid. So for this project, it's potential base repair underneath the, the pavements. Uh, the pavement has been removed in 30-ish years, 10 years. Um, it was constructed using a, a, a novel approach at the time, uh, using fly ash to stabilize the clay, clay soils there. Um, it seems to have held up pretty well. But uh, we haven't had eyeballs on it, and before paving, we always like to a test roll a fully loaded dump truck and roll it slowly down that base course and make sure it's not going to uh, We don't have any regrets about it. So that's the summary of the letter, but I'd be happy to take any questions. Any questions from anybody? I have a question. There you go. Um, this, when I was looking at the bid information, mm -hmm. So the base bid, the concrete all items, when I mean, you talk about spot curb and gutter replacement, which I assume that you're going to go down and be like, these need to be replaced, these don't, mm -hmm. whatnot. But beneath that, it's replaced four inch thick concrete sidewalk and six inch concrete sidewalk. There aren't any sidewalks on those streets. Yes, we can always include the, uh, a six inch item because that covers driveways. That's what it is. Okay. And in the event that some of the driveways or curb are adjacent to pedestrian, like private walk up to somebody's front door or sidewalk coming off their driveway, we like to have a number. Uh, there's no coincidence that those are both 400. That's me guessing. Okay, that's what I was kind of wondering. Uh, sort of... One thing I did not mention, that's a fair question. I should have mentioned in the, in the letter um, in my summary. These are unit price contracts, so it's not a lump sum bid, nor is it a lump sum payment. I expect, I guarantee you, you're not going to find 400 exactly square feet. So we just get unit pricing from Dan and Bill on here, measure it up when it's done, and then just multiply that. that out. So and then, so there could be a bunch of driveways, it could be none, it could go up or down. I think you're saying pretty comfortable it's going to be less than 400. We did walk the site in advance. And Oh, definitely. I was just wondering if the driveway is going to be if If the base turns out to be in relatively good shape, minor base repairs uh, will be under that 210 total. But 
that's the kind of like the not to exceed number. Yes. So you were kind of sorry. No, no that's you're kind of hoping that with the Sylvia Highway, like they would be like, oh, we're already out here. We're going to give you a price that is better than what you were wanting. To yeah, kind of you like, just never know on this late season for us. Late season, if the contractor is looking to fill the schedule for the year, they may just jump there, and you, you just you never know. Um, so it's not that much extra effort. It's just a Fifteen minutes on my card just to add it. So we add too much. Sometimes you get lucky. Um, that's normal practice. And over the years, it's gone both ways. Sometimes we get good enough numbers to add that extra street in. Sometimes you don't. So we don't know roughly when what time frame the project will be. Not yet. Uh -huh. Um. If if this is awarded tonight, then we'll uh, actually have a speed contract for your signature with Kenny Miller and schedule. Uh, we do have in there; it's got to be completed by November fifteenth. Once we get the contract, the signed contracts folded around and all done, then we'll have a a pre con meeting, and that will include scheduling. So I can get a letter sent off to the residents. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mail each address a letter that nowadays we have Becky put it on Facebook or on the villagers website and stuff like that too. But I guarantee you there'll be at least a half a dozen people that have no idea. Right, anybody else? Do I have a motion please? Pleasure. I'll make a motion to approve the bid um, to Payton Bowen um, for the contract for the base bid supplemental bid for a total of two hundred and ten thousand dollars and eighty eight dollars and twenty five cents. Second. All right. I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same. So, Luke, thank you. You know, it was a long drive, aye. huh? <laughs> From Rhinelander? It's on the way. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that should be good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Number two is discussion and possible action regarding police administrative assistant position. Uh, I saw Tony on there. Does he want to speak to it or does he want to leave to it? I can speak to it if everybody can hear me. We can hear you. We can hear you. Okay, so um, unfortunately, we're losing our administrative assistant, um, specifically due to uh, the increase in uh, or the anticipated increase in healthcare uh, next year. And so um, she's accepted a position somewhere else, gave me a month to replace her. Um, the good thing is I was able to get that posted immediately due to our change in policy. I posted it on Wednesday of last week, and I have a dozen applicants already, and it's due to close on Friday. So I I anticipate even even a few more. Um, I what I'm requesting is just some time if I can make it work, either a week or two of training time, so some overlap time uh, with the current uh, administrative assistant, just so so there's some time for training. That's basically what it says here is 900 to 1800. I think it's very valuable. It saves a whole lot of time and efficiency to have crossover as the system. I'm seeing a lot of nods. So does someone want to make a motion? I make a motion that we allow or that we can hire and have a two weeks of overlap, um, one to two weeks of overlap of the administrative assistant position. Uh, second. All right, I have a motion and second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say so. Move. Looks like you can do it, Chief. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a good night. Good luck. You too. All right, future agenda items. Any? I just asked um, Quinn State on um, the EMS. 
Oh yeah, you want that? I should have done that. Yeah, it's not what ended up. She ended up pleading uh, guilty to one of the four counts, and she ended up getting deferred prosecution, which means there's a they put a plan together uh, that she has to meet. If she meets it for one year, then basically her record is clear and she doesn't have to say she was convicted of uh, a crime. That was not what they originally told me. Originally, what they were telling me was it was going to be, she was going to plead guilty to two counts. They were going to put her on first offenders where basically if you stay clean, you don't have to do the jail time. And then, but it still goes for a record. So it, it'll still be on CCAP that she was arrested, but it will not show a, a conviction. So it's and she, a federal No, we did. The feds would never take that. Um, it could, I mean, it could fall under the feds, but it's way too small for the, the feds. They, they got to be up in the millions for now. Um, but like I say, and then part of her plan will include that she has to pay the EMS the one thousand dollar deductible. And nothing else. Well, the insurance company, I'm sure, is are going to deal with their civil. Oh. But not she had to come with five thousand bucks, so she came with five thousand. I'm guessing that'll go to whatever the cost the courts have, and then the insurance company, I'm sure, will be going after their money. But they, they'll they usually go civil. Can we use part of that five thousand cover our lawyer costs? No, we didn't have any. No, no, we we did my investigation and the chief's investigation. They went right to the DA's office, okay. so we didn't. We didn't bring in an attorney at all. And we settled with the insurance, right. but we had a thousand dollar deductible. So mm -hmm. she has to pay the EMS back the one thousand. It's a it's a pretty good sentence for her. I I I personally think the conviction should stay. I think I would have been more happy with them knocking it down to a misdemeanor and still making a conviction. I think it's unfair that she did this and on the application, have you ever been convicted? She can put no down. Right. Ooh. That sucks. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? After a year, though, right? Huh? But not for the first year? No, yeah, the, the first year, she, she's the basically best flat. Best. And the trick, if she doesn't pass or follow the plan, then it automatically goes to sentencing. Um, There's well, no, what's that? Well, I'm not Trust going. me, she, I'm sure she's going to follow the plan. There's okay. a pretty big carrot out oh, no, there. No, I was just thinking you could Google her name. Yes, and that's well, CCAP, that. you should still see that right. it's arrested, but when right. it goes down, it'll say, I don't know if it'll say to dismiss or not prosecute. She's going to have some obstacles. Oh, absolutely. And so. for her, the civil thing is going to be huge. Yeah. And then uh, the her license, they don't look at conviction, non-conviction. They look at the act. So I don't know how it's going to affect your license. No, it's, I mean, she's not out of the woods. It's just that it was a lot of work for a woman. Right. Right. Wow. All right. Thank you. I forgot I should have brought that up. Good. Thanks. All right. Any other future items here, then? All right. Do I have a motion to go into closed session? I will move to go into closed session. All right. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Let's do a roll call vote, please. Trustee Kettlebader. Yes. Trustee Bratton. Yes. Trustee Pomakowski. Yes. Trustee Brooklyn. Yes. Trustee Brenner. Yes. Trustee Borkhart. Yes. President Langfeld. Yes. Can someone get the door? Right. Going out of order. Okay, we're back into open session. Can I have a motion, please? I'll make a motion to uh, accept the contract for uh, the, I'm sorry, the employment agreement for Carly Person for the village administrator position. I will sign that. All right, I have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same. So moved. Motion to adjourn. I have made that motion. Second. All right, I have a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, same. Thank you all for coming in. Appreciate it.